Architects and welcome back to another RPG Architect tutorial. My name is Bert and today is going to be an easy one. Today we will be adding some atmosphere to this first person uh, game that we've been working on. We got the bare bones down of uh, what could become a cool little spooky horror game. But the only thing is that you can see it's not really super spooky. There's You can see very far, it's very bright. So we're going to fix that today with some lighting and some render fog, okay? So let's just go ahead and start with the easiest one. Let's jump into our database. Go to video configuration uh, down towards the bottom under system. And you'll see on these settings you have, if you scroll down just a little bit, we have render fog. We're just going to turn that on. And your values may be a little different here from what you from from when you start a project. I don't remember. I've, I've just toyed with a few things, um, but I like it. I'm gonna do something pretty close, just to feel like really kind of closed in. So I'm just gonna do one for my start, and I'm gonna do ten for my end. Uh, now you have height start and height fall off as well. I'm just gonna leave these both as 0.5 for me. Um, feel free to play with these values and try to. Um, dial it in how you would like for your project but let's just go ahead and see what that looks like as is and you can see already look at that that very bright open hallway has now become a very dark kind of gloomy hallway look at that big difference already one one little adjustment okay not too hard but let's say we wanted to do some spooky lighting. So like, or um, like you have a candle going in here or something, right? So what we can do, let's jump back into our database first in that same area. Uh, just above render fog here, we have dynamic lighting and we have a checkbox here, enable lighting. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Hit apply, okay. And then over here on the left side, I'm also going to turn the lighting on for this map in particular. Okay. Actually, this will be part of a, a further or a later step, but it's okay. We're going to check that on and we'll come back to this. So now we have our lighting stuff turned on. We will click up here at the top to edit the map in lighting mode. And so let's just uh, click in here. Let's add our first light. You can see it gets its own ID. In this case, it shall be zero. You have a map position here, which is just where we double clicked and you can adjust it further if you need. Um, we have we can set the color so I'm just gonna give this one like a nice reddish orange some more about there you can adjust the alpha if you want maybe I'll just turn it down a little bit not too much uh, I'll click the color to set it and then we have radius and intensity settings so you have minimum and maximum we will keep the minimum at one I'll set the maximum to like five and what that does is it creates, you can see here, we have the inner circle, which is our minimum radius. And we have the outer circle, which is our maximum. That's as far as it'll go, roughly. Um, and then we can adjust the intensity of the light. So I'll give this one like a one. Actually, let's change this to, no, we'll leave that at five. Let's change the maximum here of intensity to three. And let's just take a look and see what that looks like. Okay, so it's already looking spookier in here. And look at that. Now we have this nice kind of reddish uh, uh, light going on here. Very cool. And so if you wanted to, we can... I'm just gonna copy and paste this over here, maybe down here. Let's put it here. Let's change this one to like a purplish. Yeah, something about like that. Oops, I changed that one. That's okay. That's fine. I just clicked the wrong one somehow. So now I look around this corner. You can see I got the reddish over in this area now. And if I come back over here, now it's like a purplish kind of looking vibe, right? Already big improvement over where we were at. Okay, and so then one other thing we can do with these lighting uh, entities, lighting nodes, whatever you want to call them, 
double click you see this little checkbox here is flicker so we can have this light uh, flickering at a rate that we determined so I'm just gonna do something I think 500 milliseconds so half a second flicker just on this red one oops that's the purple there we go here's the red so purple should be static the red it should be flickering let's just double check yep purple is static and the red is flickering you can see there's some of the some of them have kind of a harsher edge there and it's kind of shuffling through randomly the I believe the intensity setting uh, so if we raise this I think something about like that and let's drop this down epilepsy warning if you guys need it I'll probably put it up in actual text on the video but as always you just kind of have to adjust some values and tweak around you can already see on the wall it's it's flickering a little bit but yeah now you're getting that nice Kind of candlelight flicker fireplace flicker going on there very cool very cool so just with that you can go ahead and add a lot of ambience a lot of atmosphere to different areas of your game um there's just a couple other things i want to show off if you look over here on the left side on your map properties where we enabled lighting uh, earlier we have a couple things we have ambient color and we have directional color so I believe ambient color is just kind of like the an overall color that will be affecting like the overall map and I believe directional color is what the shadows or is like a hue that the shadows will kind of show up as uh, and then you have these direction XYZ as as this is right now it's basically the sun the overall lighting source of this map is like flat on the horizon so we want to raise it up in the air and kind of put it at an angle so up in the air let's just put it at like 135 um 85 for our direction these whatever values you put in are for you i'm just going to throw these numbers in the important one was the y to actually get it up above our uh, map here and to really you'll be able to see this with the walls but to really show it off let's throw let's throw an entity in here give them a sprite let's throw old google gobble in here i haven't seen him in a while throw our boy right here so if i've done this correctly he should be casting a shadow let me actually move this light back here okay so we should be able to see some shadow from him oh and actually i didn't really need to move this it's because it's based upon this light but whatever it's fine let's uh take a look okay and as we start you can already see look at that there's so we can't see it up in the sky but we can see the effects of the lighting on our map so so the light source is like up there that direction already this is looking so much better this is pretty cool see a little bit of the red flickering through because it's just because i have it overlaid on the map you then you just adjust the uh settings the radius and whatnot that's okay um but let's come over here to see old google gobble see where he is all right there he is you can see he's casting a shadow very cool all right so again you know you just adjust settings as you need to get the get the shadows and the lighting how you want them but let's say you say well bert i want this to look like silent hill i want the fog to be white so if you want your map to look something more like silent hill and you want the fog to be a different color uh, over here in the map properties under appearance we have background color 
background color is going to mix in with um, a sky layer. So we got to do a couple things to get this looking like Silent Hill, right? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this background color to white. This will not fully do it. I'll just show you what it looks like. Bring it over there. You can see there's a little bit more. It's a little bit brighter. There's a little bit of a like a haze over it, right? Still not quite there. But if we really want to get that Silent Hill look, we're going to need to add a sky layer. This is how I found. I'm not sure if this is uh, the intended method to do it. I haven't asked Locke. It's still early on Monday morning, but I'm basically I'm just going to do a sky box of just white. So I'm, I came into my UI elements. I just have this. I'm just selecting in the center. So I have a white image, just a white like square rectangle for my skybox. Nothing fancy. I hit OK. Um, actually, let me just rename this white sky. Sure. And now the background color under appearance is going to mix with your white sky and we're going to get this result. Look at that. Cue the Silent Hill music. Now it looks a little different just because I got those purple and red lights going on and the flickering. But we have the very easy on the eyes uh, Silent Hill white fog going. Right? And if you wanted to, you know, adjust things further, like, let me show you. Let's grab for our sky box. Let's grab a different color. Let go to squash buckler. Let's use this red color. And so now it's mixing with that white from the uh, background color appearance. You can see it's a reddish sky, but there's still some white fog. It's kind of a blend between the two. You got it? So yeah, just uh, adjust the values how you need, whatever kind of ambience, atmosphere you want to go for. Um, I actually, for this project, I prefer just the dark colors. This looks pretty cool to me. Um, but yeah, I hope that was helpful. I hope that was an easy one for you. I hope that made sense. Um, play around with the values as you need. Uh, make something super spooky. Uh, there's still uh, just a little bit of time left for before Halloween. Get your spooky game out. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. Well, I think that's going to do it for me today. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on this lighting feature in RPGA. If you don't have a copy of RPGA, it's still an early access. Uh, head over to Steam, grab your copy while it is still at the early access price point. If you are seeing this in the future and you missed your opportunity, I'm so sorry. Uh, but you should still grab the engine because it's it's only grown since I recorded this. <laughs> All those years ago. If you've enjoyed my commentary, my tutorials, and even uh, if you've enjoyed my music that's been playing in this video, uh, please consider supporting me directly over on patreon.com slash bitbybitsound, or you can pick up a copy of my PlayStation 1 uh, survival horror music pack either on Patreon or itch.io. It really does help me out a lot. Uh, I couldn't do this without the support of uh my own community and the rpga community you guys have been great um so yeah please consider checking that out if you haven't already all right me and mr google gobble here are going to be heading out now i uh, hope you've enjoyed have hope you have a great day as always you have been amazing i have been bert and i will see you on the next one bye bye